The sartorius muscle has an origin on the anterior superior iliac spine and curves around the front of the anterior compartment to insert on the anterior surface of the tibia near the tibial tuberosity. The sartorius muscle flexes and abducts the thigh at the hip joint and flexes the leg at the knee joint. The major muscle of the anterior compartment is the quadriceps femoris muscle, which as its name implies has four heads. This is the rectus femoris head. The rectus femoris head has an origin on the inferior, anterior inferior iliac spine and inserts along with the other three heads of the quadriceps femoris onto the quadriceps femoris tendon. The quadriceps femoris along with the other three heads will extend the leg at the knee joint but because the quadriceps femoris also crosses the hip joint, it is the only one of the four heads that will cross the hip joint, it has the additional action of flexing the thigh at the hip joint. Here again is the rectus femoris muscle. The other three muscles that comprise the quadriceps femoris muscle are on the lateral side, the vastus lateralis, on the medial side, the vastus medialis, and if we remove the rectus femoris muscle, we reveal underneath the vastus intermedius muscle. All three of these vastus muscle, the vastus lateralis, the vastus medialis, and the vastus intermedius have origins on the femur and insert along with the uh, rectus femoris on the quadriceps femoris tendon, which includes the patella, the kneecap. These muscles all are extenders of the leg at the knee joint. As we consider the muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh, there are two muscles that should be considered although they are not present to any great extent into, in the anterior compartment except for their terminal ends over here. Uh, these muscles are the iliacus muscle and the psoas major muscle. The iliacus muscle has an origin on the posterior abdominal wall over here where you have the iliac fossa of the ilium. The psoas major muscle has an origin on the lumbar transverse processes, the intervertebral discs, and the bodies from vertebra thoracic 12 to vertebra lumbar 5. The fibers of both the iliacus and the psoas major converge, go under the inguinal ligament, and insert on the lesser trochanter of the femur. The actions of both of these muscles are the same, which is to flex the thigh at the hip joint. Because of the similar action of these two muscles, they are often referred together as the iliopsoas muscle.